Okay, what we have here is a 06 uh, Crown Vic uh, squad car, and the problem is overheating condition, and what we noticed is our cooling fan isn't running. So what I've done here is I've back probed on the yellow trace the control wire to the, to the cooling fan module, and then on the green wire I got the power to the cooling fan module back probed, and we got it over here on the, on the Virus. So we'll go and start this thing up here. And uh, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so we can see our the yellow trace is the cooling wire is the cooling fan module control wire from the PCM, and we can see the PCM grounding out the uh, cooling fan module at about a 10% duty cycle. And we'll move the trigger up here a little bit just to stabilize that. And we can also see that we've got good voltage going to our cooling fan module. we got battery voltage there to supply the cooling fan. And if we look, we notice our cooling fan is not running. There's no air running through there. And we'll, uh, just to adjust this a little bit, we'll turn the AC on. Or actually, we'll turn the AC off. We had the AC running there. And we'll see here if our duty cycle changes. Actually, we were running at about 90% before. Now that we turned the fan off, the duty cycle of the cooling fan is actually decreasing. So we were running at 90%. Right now, we're getting close to 50%. And the PCM is slowly backing off the cooling fan. However, our fan motor is not running, so I will shut the car off here. I'll just freeze this. Uh, let's see. Because Snap-on has never really given us a good test for these cooling fans, back probing that control wire to the cooling fan module is about the best you can do and then check to see that the uh, cooling fan module is actually being turned on and off. We're on a 50 millisecond time sweep and I got both voltage scales set at 50 volts so that we can trace both the supply to the cooling fan and the uh, and the trigger wire, the control wire at the same time on the same screen without them running into each other. So that's about it. Uh, you can't buy the cooling fan module separate. No. It only comes as a complete assembly for these. And uh, I'd say probably almost 100% of the time when I've seen an overheating condition or a history of a, or the vehicle had a history of overheating stored in the, in the PCM, a overheating or high cylinder temp code usually accompanied by a reduced power code. It's almost always been that cooling fan control module. A few rare occasions it's been a leaking water pump or something like that. But just uh, to show you here what our waveform should look like on the control, on the cooling fan control module. And you should also check, make sure you got good voltage going to your cooling fan control module. So that's about it.